Now, it's come to my attention that some of you people are watching my videos only up until four and a half minutes goes by. In other words, you're watching four and a half minutes of my videos on average, and then you're turning them off and you're going somewhere else. So what I thought about doing was not get started until four and a half minutes into this video. Let's see how that plays out, okay? So what I want to talk to you today about in the vending business, and of course I'm trying to teach you people how to buy a house only using quarters, and this is how we do it. We get vending machines, and we get a lot of them, and we place these vending machines in a lot of different places, and then after a month, you go pick up the money, you fill them up with candy, you take the coins to the bank, and they exchange the coins for paper. Now, what do I want to talk about today? What can I talk about that will help you in the vending business? Another thing I noticed on the analytics of my YouTube page is that only 4% of the people watching these videos are women. So we just want to say welcome, ladies. We hope that you get as excited about the vending business as we gentlemen are excited. And what I want to talk to you about is a question that pops up all the time. What about these nuts? What about nuts. People ask me, Neil, do you put your nuts inside the vending machine? And I say, no. I used to put my nuts inside the vending machine, but I don't do it anymore. And I'll tell you why. There is a certain kind of moth that is attracted to nuts, whether they're pecans, almonds, walnuts, cashews, peanuts. Okay, There's a certain moth and it's called a flower moth, and this is, this is what it looks like. And I have a theory, I have never seen proof of this, but I have a belief that the moths, as they're flying around out in the wild, where the trees are growing the nuts, uh, the moths will lay their eggs on the nut, okay? And when the nut is processed, the, the egg doesn't die, a small percentage of the eggs do not die, and uh, we put those nuts into the machines, and a few days later, the eggs hatch, and it wouldn't be so bad if, if they looked pretty, but they're really kind of an ugly color moth, and when the eggs hatch, the first thing that comes out, a larva, and the larva look like maggots. So sometimes, if you have a lot of these eggs that have hatched, inside of your machine, you'll have a lot of maggot-looking larvae. They're little caterpillars that look like, uh, look like maggots. Now, we know that maggots like to eat meat, flesh, rotting protein. They're not interested in peanuts or almonds or cashews. They're not interested in that. They're not interested in jelly beans or, you know, or Skittles. They're only interested in rotting flesh. Well, the last I looked, we don't put rotting flesh into vending machines, so therefore we don't have maggots. So when people say to me, you have maggots in your machine, I really just want to say, no, you're stupid, those aren't maggots. But I don't. I just say, let me take the machine, and I'll take it, and I'll clean it, and I'll bring it back. And a lot of times, the customer says, no, don't bring it back. I don't care how well you sterilize it, don't bring it back. So I have lost many locations because of fl uh, moths, flower moths, the larvae, the caterpillars, and that all stems from the nuts. Now I heard, I've heard there's one way to combat this problem, and that is by placing your nuts in the freezer for 24 hours, if you can withstand placing your nuts in the freezer for 24 hours. And they say that if there's any of the flower moth eggs that are on your nuts, they will die in the freezing cold of the freezer. I've never done it because I've lost so many locations. I've probably lost about 20 locations. There's another thing that happens when the moths are inside the machines. 
they will actually spin a web. It looks like a little spider web, real fine spider web. It looks kind of like a cloth almost, not, not like strings, but it'll look like a cloth. And they'll, they'll cover the whole inside of the, of the machine. I've actually seen uh, that spider web on the outside of the machine and it baffles me to try to figure out how they got on the outside of the machine to coat the outside of the machine with this sticky, uh, silky, material. So that is why I don't put nuts into vending machines. They are a good seller. If you can keep your eye on these machines um, on a daily basis or a weekly basis, the nuts will do very well. They sell very well and the profit is pretty good. Um, people want something hearty when they go to a vending machine. Sometimes they want something that's going to take away their hunger. Uh, maybe they've only got a quarter. So nuts really do fit the bill. So that's my take on whether I put nuts in my machines. I really don't. And uh, if you like these videos, uh, this, will, this will be the end of this video. If you like these videos, give a thumbs up. Um, feedback is always welcome. I do thank you for your uh, kind words, people. And uh, please hit that subscribe button. Have a good day.